Hey guys, so Nicole with you here from iPad Calligraphy. Today I'm talking about backups, especially with Procreate 5 just about to be released. It's really important that your work is backed up. This time of year is a great time to sort of be setting up fresh, ready for the new year. I'm going to assume that you know how to do an iTunes backup and that's necessary to take a full backup of your iPad. So I'm not talking about that version today. What I'm talking about is manual backing up. And this is any specific files you're particularly attached to that you'd be devastated if you lost. So it's a good idea to back up anything that's really important to you just manually so that you have a copy of that on iCloud or Dropbox. Should anything happen to your iPad or to Procreate, you can find those files again. So that's the backup method we'll be talking about today. So I'm going to save my files to a folder on iCloud. And to do this, I'm just going to choose select from the gallery and this allows me to choose multiple files. So I'm gonna tap on each of these files. I wouldn't suggest doing all of your gallery at once. I think that would overload the system. So just choose maybe four or five. And because I've got some stacks in here, that's gonna save out what's inside the stack as well. So I don't wanna overload it. I'm just choosing those to start with. I'm gonna choose share and I'm gonna choose procreate. You could choose any file type like PSD or PNGs and it will save all those files under that file type. And now I've got the option to save to files and I'm gonna choose procreate backup on my iCloud drive and choose save. Excellent, so that is how you save out multiple documents. It's a good idea to save out your Procreate files because it will save any app related data. So such as your layer settings or animation and also time lapse. So that's a really good idea. So the other thing you need to think about when backing up is your brushes and your color palettes. And I'm gonna show you a way to do this. So a shout out to Akran, I hope I'm saying his name right on the Procreate forum for this. This is a really good tip for saving out your brush files. Basically, you just pull up your dock and pull your files app to just dock it next to Procreate. So now I've got these files side by side. I've got my Procreate backup folder, which is where I'm gonna save it open on files. And now I'm gonna go into my brush library here. And there's several brush sets that I wanna save. So rather than sort of exporting them individually as share option from individual brush sets, which you can do if you just have one or two you wanna save out. But another way to do it is to just hold down and like, like you're going to shift it, just move it slightly and you'll see you get the little plus arrow there. And now I'm going to tap multiple sets that I wanna include in this backup. So if, you, if I move my hand there, you can see there's a plus five. And that's because I've now got five brush sets that I'm going to drag into my files app and update right there. So that's a really cool way that you can choose multiple brush sets and upload them. I suggest always checking in, in iCloud on another device that those files have updated properly and always give it enough time to sync. When you see the little cloud, it just means it's not yet fully uploaded to iCloud. So you just need to wait until that cloud is gone until the file is uploaded. And it's the same with color palettes. So if I go into my color palettes here and scroll down, there's some color palettes that I wanna save out. I'm just going to pick up the, the title of the palette, move it slightly, and then tap on the other palettes that I wish to export, drag it into files, and there you go. It's now moved them into files. So you can even get super organized and have a Procreate backup folder. You could say brushes as another folder inside there, artwork as another folder and swatches as another folder and just keep things nice and tidy. There is a folder on your iPad under the files app called Procreate, which you can use to send things to um, iTunes. But I just, I, I would recommend doing it manually through iCloud. And that's just simply because the Procreate folder will be deleted if you move Procreate down the line. So if you get used to using that folder, you might just forget and that for some reason you need to uninstall Procreate or your work is gone. So I do recommend using that separate folder. So if you'd like to find out more about backing up, you can find the link to the blog post just under this video. Click subscribe or like if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.